Hey everyone, welcome back to video 19 of how to mix and master a song inside your home studio. We've gone through 18 videos already, so go back on my YouTube channel and watch the playlist, How to Mix and Master a Song Inside Your Home Studio and get caught up. Uh, as always, you can download the free audio files to the song below, so you can follow along, so go, go do that if you haven't done that yet. Um, we are going to start mixing fiddle. So here we are right now. So I'm going to go to the solo section right there. And the fiddle is not as prominent in the mix as I want it to be during that solo part. But at the end of mixing, all the EQ, compression, and effects that we're going to end up doing, we will do what's called rides. And that'll get what we need heard when we need it heard. So make sure you follow along after this video to see that video too. So... Again, subscribe to the YouTube channel for that. But here's the solo. Let's start a little earlier. So there's no EQ or compression on the fiddle. I'm going to pop the mix into mono, and we're going to do this in context with the mix in mono to make better EQ decisions. can use a stock EQ does it not have to be a third party any stock EQ inside your doll doll will work I'm gonna do what I always do uh, start with a high pass filter on non bass important instruments so fiddle definitely is not contributing bass to this song so let's get rid of that low end that we don't need probably around 100 and below some honkiness right there I want to get rid of it yeah so subtly you can hear it when I have EQ off it's kind of you can still hear the fiddle but it just sounds a little muddy not as clear as it could be and then when I kick it on it's just gonna get a little bit more clear so off Rise. Yeah, I think we've done our job there. I can hear all the other elements of the song, not just the fiddle. That's what I'm going for. That's why we EQ in mono. Now let's get a little compression in there. I think a three to one would be good. three to one ratio would be good. Um, I think a medium to fast release. I want the compressor to release in time to catch the next notes. I don't want to kill all the dynamics of that fiddle. So let's start here, medium attack. And then let's adjust this th threshold to get about 3 to 6 dBs of gain reduction. Rise.
makeup gain. Here's my gain reduction. It's turning down the peaks and bringing up the quiet, quieter parts, more even with the louder parts. That's what we're doing here with the makeup gain. What I like to do is try to match the output of what I've turned down with the input still, so keep that the same. be it on and off. And then in context with the mix. Yeah, I think it sounds good there. Let's listen to it in stereo. And in reality, it'll probably be about this loud. sounds pretty good right now we're gonna move on to steel guitar in the next video so keep watching and subscribe like I said grab the free audio files to this song in the link below or on the screen here and you can follow along with me or mix it on your own time after you watch the series and you can also grab a free EQ chart or ebook please like subscribe comment below if you have any questions on what we've done so far, and I'll try to answer them as fast as possible. Scott from RecordingSolution.com. See you on the next video.